Charles Cherney here, wanting to touch today on five things to think about if you're considering relocating to Cambridge, Massachusetts. Number five, proximity to public transportation. It's great in Cambridge, Massachusetts that it's easy enough to hop on any of a number of buses on active bus lines running throughout the city on most all the major arteries connecting uh, across the city and across the Charles River to Boston. In addition, the Red Line subway runs through Cambridge. This is part of the Greater Boston MBTA subway service. Red Line stops in uh, Kendall Square, Central Square, Harvard Square, Porter Square, and there is even a final station stop at Elwife at the end of the line, affording Cambridge residents the ability to come and go from Boston to the city of Cambridge via the Red Line subway. If you're looking to relocate to Cambridge and getting to and from Boston by the Red Line is important, you'll probably wanna focus your attention on homes for sale in close proximity to the Red Line. In addition, as an aside, it is a city that's very easy to walk. It's very pedestrian friendly. There's also many people on bicycle with many bike lanes serving the city. Number four on my list is parking. So if you are going to be moving to Cambridge and bringing a car with you, you'll probably uh, want to get a residential parking sticker for your vehicle. And to get that, it needs to have a Massachusetts plate and you need to be able to prove that you live at your address in Cambridge. And then with the sticker on your car, you can park on any and all streets that are signed for residential parking only. So that's convenient. Obviously, if you don't have the sticker, you'll want to uh, hone your attention in on offerings with off-street parking so you're safely parked off-street. In addition, the city does offer each household a guest parking pass so visitors can park near your home legally while visiting. Number three on my list, if you're thinking of relocating to Cambridge, is pricing. Average sale price will underline it's an expensive city to own. Average cost of a condominium in 2023 is 1.2 million. Average cost of a multifamily this year is 1.9. And an average single family sale price in Cambridge in 2023 is 2.4 million. So it's expensive. And speaking as a top residential real estate agent, working with buyers and sellers in Cambridge over the last 24 plus years, uh, I'm familiar with the inventory and can certainly review with you options in your price range. These averages uh, are averages and there are opportunities available for less than the average sale price that are compelling to consider. And there's likely something in your price range that uh, will be of interest. Number two on my list is property taxes. And so if the average sale price is higher, Cambridge is blessed by a lower residential real estate tax rate. In 2023, it's $5.86 per 1,000 of assessed value. And in addition, the city in 2023 is affording um, owner occupants a residential exemption, a discount on their tax bill equaling $2,759 off your tax bill. If you own a property worth a million or assessed by the city for a million, in 2023, your tax bill would be $5,860. And if you enjoyed the tax savings of the residential exemption, it would bring it down to 3,101. So again, in comparison to other parts of the state of Massachusetts and in other parts of the country, Cambridge, has a lower residential property tax rate. And they're able to do that because they have a pretty robust commercial tax basis that brings in uh, money to the city. Number um, one on my list of things to think about if you're relocating to Cambridge is that it's a city with many parks. It's great. So in my neighborhood at the end of my block is a little pocket park, uh, Elm Hampshire Plaza at the corner of Elm Street in Hampshire. It's well maintained. It has sitting areas, play areas, a grassy area. It gets regular use from the neighbors. It's taken care of by the city. Not far from Elm Hampshire Plaza is Senate Park on Broadway, which is coming to the end of a two year renovation. And uh, the city has done a great job of improving this 
medium-sized park that gets great use in the neighborhood known as the Port outside of Central Square. And there is uh, a basketball uh, court and play equipment for children. There's a large grassy area that uh, is the final phase of the renovations to this beautiful park. And I'm excited to see it fully reopen as so many residents enjoy it. And they also have larger parks like Danehe Park, uh, the largest park in the city. It's in neighborhood nine out near North Cambridge. And it's built on a former landfill, has parks and rolling land and um, play fields and pathways. And um, it's well maintained and it's a big, big park. So be it a pocket park, a medium park or a big park, you've got to love all the parks found throughout the city of Cambridge and uh, residents here enjoy them all. So proximity to public transportation and pedestrian friendly and um, bicycle friendly, um, parking by permit, uh, for the most part, uh, average sale prices running high, but still opportunities across uh, the price uh, band, realistic uh, and reasonable property tax rates and ample parks. These are just five things to think about if you're imagining relocating to Cambridge. My name is Charles Cherney. I'm a top residential real estate agent here and I welcome the opportunity to connect with you and be of service. Reach out by text, telephone, or email at any time. And I hope to be of service as you look to relocate to Cambridge, Massachusetts. Be in touch.